So my name is Juliette Carrillo and I met Bill right out of grad school. He invited me to direct something for Cornerstone Theatre Company. He was the artistic director of Cornerstone at the time. And, uh, and I did and I actually after a, a little while later I ended up joining the company and I was working under Bill as the artistic director and, and, uh, and then um, he, he left to come up here. I'm still in Cornerstone Theatre Company though. So we've had a long history together. The sign in Sidney Brewstein's window, it was written in 1963-64, produced in 1964. Um, it, uh, it, it takes place in 64 in Greenwich Village, uh, New York City, Bohemia. I found the play to be extraordinarily contemporary. Um, I, think, I think Lorraine was a little ahead of her time and uh, some of the themes of the play are extremely pertinent to us today in this society. Ultimately, I feel like she's exploring what it means to take a stand as a human being, um, take a stand for uh, your society, for your community. Um, and, uh, you know, I think the characters, Sydney and his wife, Iris are are struggling for they're struggling to f really figure out who they are and what their relationships about and um, and what's missing what's lacking is that commitment and not, not only commitment their commitment to each other but commitment to their lives and their commitment to their community and why they're there why they're human beings what they're doing and um, so it's that, that struggle that I find very contemporary. I think that we are all in, in the midst of this extraordinarily rapidly changing time. There's a lot of um, disturbing things happening in our world right now and we're all struggling to figure out where we stand in, in, uh, in environmental issues, in economic issues, in political issues. We're struggling to figure out where we're at and what 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 where our fight where our fights are going to be where our struggles where our um where our belief systems lie and uh and certainly that that time is is reflective of this time i believe 50 years ago yeah there's not a lot of there's there of course a lot has changed but there are things that haven't changed and um certainly the need for us as human beings to push our society forward in a positive way. Lorraine was married to a white man, I presumably a Jewish man, I'm assuming, and uh, the play is written, uh, um, well, it's it's a white man, a white Jewish man who, who's Sidney Burstein, obviously. Um, so I'm assuming that, that the marriage had uh, an influence on her choice to write about that. Um, there are no black characters in this play. It's all white. There is one man who passes as white. He's a black man. Uh, but yeah, I think I think she was really spreading her wings as a writer, and she had she kind of established herself as a black playwright. She was known for *Raisin in the Sun*. She was the youngest woman and the only black person at that point to win the New York Critics Association Prize. So, um, so, so for her to go from this major hit and fame to writing something that was radically different, not only in the, the cast that she chose, but also the themes that she's choosing, the style that she's writing in, um, uh, was, it was a brave move and confused people. It confused her critics. There was an expectation that she was going to, again, take a stand for a particular um, aesthetic, and she didn't. She kind of uh, spun it on its head and, and kind of came up with her own new um, uh, point of view and what she was interested in. Um, but this idea of commitment, I find really, you know, it, her relationship with her husband, um, uh, she she was she divorced her husband, um, not 
too long after the hit was raised in the sun, but they became really close and they were close collaborators and he held the held her estate and her daughter actually now owns the, his daughter has the, the rights to the play. Um, but that's one of the questions in the play. It's he's, She's not only questioning where we stand in terms of commitment to our lives, but in commitment to, to another human being. And I, I find that very contemporary also. I mean, people are not getting married as much. Um, there There's this, this sense of kind of, uh, there's always another one around the corner, <laughs> I think. She's exploring that in the marriage and that I find that really, I found that really contemporary. There are three sisters in the play, and each one of them have a very different relationship to their father. You never hear about the father, but you hear about how they perceive the father. And depending on where they are in their lives and what they're interested in, they see their father completely differently. So uh, I find that fascinating. I also find that that you know that that, that their last name is. Paradis, and the father chose that last it, they're Greek and it was a much longer name and he shortened it to Paradis. so um, that that kind of that's very telling to to kind of how they where they stand how how Lorraine places them in the play as three sisters that um, represent different uh, life viewpoints mm -hmm. What Lorraine does is she puts these characters in situations where they're having to make decisions uh, that reflect who they are, uh, that ultimately are, are reflections of who they are. Um, and, and, and it questions their integrity. They have to question where they stand. Um, uh, for example, there's a, there's a playwright that lives upstairs at a certain point in the play, when the playwright starts to become famous, Sidney asks him to write a part for his wife. Now he does that because things are not going so well in the marriage. And uh, Sidney is really at a low point, but he's having to ask. Um, it's a band-aid, really, for their, their marriage. And, and David, who I think is a character who is surprisingly of great integrity, um, you know, calls him on it immediately, and 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 Sydney has to take a look at what he's just done. So there are several moments in the play that are really um, pointed um, as in in that investigation of our own personal. Again, where we stand, what we're standing for.